for scams, according to law enforcement officers. And officers say right now there are all kinds out there. One right here in Green Country scared a woman in Mays County out of cash with the threat of jail time. Two News reporter Marla Carter tells us what you need to know in our Problem Solvers Report. Sitting here and I get a phone call and says this is the Mays County Sheriff's Department. If you don't call this number and make a payment in an hour, we're going to come out with a warrant for your arrest. Ada resident Marty Ball didn't know what to do when she got the call. I came up 918-825-3535, which is Mays County Sheriff's number. It's the only reason I answered, you know, it scared me so bad because it was their phone number. She and her husband are in the process of paying several outstanding debts, and she assumed this was one of those. With the threat of jail time looming, she decided the best action would be to pay up. I paid money, Graham, and I called with a confirmation number. She paid more than $200, money she didn't have. But she did follow up with the sheriff's office, and that's when she found out she'd been scammed. But at no time would the Mays County Sheriff's Office ever do anything like this. As a matter of fact, no sheriff's office would do this. They do not get into bill collection matters ever. That's a whole civil issue. We don't even get involved in that in any way, shape, or form. Captain Rod Howell says they are doing their best to look into the matter, but it is hard to track down this type of criminal. We had an investigator look into this, and basically we believe it's going to be a car ID spoofing, which basically is illegal, and it's something that people can easily access through the Internet. Even though there may not be an arrest in this case, and she won't likely see that money again. Marty hopes others learn from her mistake. If it just helps one person out there that might be, you know, in financial straits like us. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you. Yeah, that is a tough situation. Now, the Federal Trade Commission says that fake debt collector scams are common and have several variations. Many include some form of intimidation, like threatening you with arrest. The FTC says that debt collectors have no such power. If someone calls claiming that you owe money, ask for his or her name and information about the company that they represent, and then tell the caller you refuse to discuss any debt until you receive a validation notice. Under the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, a collector must send you written notice with that information. If the caller won't give you that information, hang up and then report the call to the FTC and the state attorney general's office.